Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video we will tell you about the ninhydrin test. Ninhydrin test is the general identification test for amino acid. It means if we want to check the presence of amino acid in any sample then we have to perform ninhydrin test. This ninhydrin test is the characteristic for free amino group. That's why this ninhydrin test is used for the identification of ammonia, primary or secondary amine and alpha amino acids. So what happens in this test when we add ninhydrin reagent to our test solution and if the color of the test solution turns to deep color or purple color indicates the presence of amino acid in our sample. We will demonstrate you this test in more detail along with its principle at the end of this video. So let's know the procedure of ninhydrin test. So first of all take a test tube and then add 2 ml of test solution in which we have to identify the amino acid. After this add 1 ml of ninhydrin solution into the test tube with the help of pipette. And then properly mix the content of test tube and then boil the content of test tube for 5 minutes in the water bath. And if the color of the content of the test tube changes to dark blue color or deep purple color, it means alpha amino acid is present in our sample. So what is the principle of this test? So first of all, protein present in the sample get hydrolyzed and alpha amino acid released after the hydrolysis of protein. And then Oxidation of the amino acid means oxidative deamination and decarboxylation of the amino acid takes place. Deamination means release of the amino group and decarboxylation means release of the carbon dioxide from the amino acid. Because ninhydrin reagent which we have added is an oxidizing agent and oxidizes the amino acid and ninhydrin itself get reduced to form hydrin dentin. It means amino acid present in the sample react with the ninhydrin in hot condition and an aldehyde, ammonia and carbon dioxide is released along with it hydridentin is also get released. And as we have told you hydridentin is the reduced form of ninhydrin. And the second step of the reaction is that hydridentin which is formed in the first reaction is again react with the ammonia which is released during the reaction and one more molecule of ninhydrin. And after the reaction of hydridentin, ammonia and ninhydrin formation of the complex takes place and the name of the complex is diketohydrin which is also called rumen complex or rumen purple. And due to the formation of this diketohydrin complex, we observe dark blue or purple color in the test tube. So this is the principle of ninhydrin test. Means how this dark blue color or purple color complex of diketohydrin form in the presence of amino acid in the sample by performing ninhydrin test. And if in our sample hydroxyproline or proline is present, then it form aminium salt on reacting with the ninhydrin reagent and this aminium salt is yellow to orange color complex. And if in the sample asperginine amino acid is present then on reacting with ninhydrin reagent it will form brown color complex. So this is all about ninhydrin test. Thank you very much for watching this video.